What's popping guys? In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how I achieved the fur and texture in this tattoo. So firstly, the machine I was using was a Bishop Wand Packer, and I was running that packer at 7.5 volts. The needles I used for the majority of this tattoo was a 13 curved Magnum, and I also used a three liner, a five round shader, and a nine round shader. Now I did use other needles like a nine curved mag bug pin, but I only used those needles for a very small part of the tattoo. The majority of this tattoo was done with a 13 curved mag bug pin. Now doing fur this way is actually pretty easy. It's fast and it's pretty effective. There's no complexities going on. There's absolutely no special techniques or anything like that. It all revolves around a little bit of mag manipulation, working on the side, working at different angles to achieve the different looks that you need. So first, as always, I'm starting with black. Now on this tattoo, it's a tiger and some may just think I'm gonna block in all that black, but don't do that. All that black is still made up of hair, so it still requires direction and I still want to be given the look of hair no matter how dark it is. So I'm working on the side of my mag, creating little strands using straight black keeping my strands nice and close together, which is giving the blackness, but also giving that direction of the fur texture. Whenever I'm doing any tattoo, I am always starting from bottom, working upwards. But now we have got the smaller areas of black. This is where I have switched to the five round shader to get all the tiny bits of black in that fur and black texture in the nose. Now on this piece, I went through the entire piece, putting in all my black first. Usually I don't like to work like this. I'll work on the little section that I'm doing until it's complete and then I'll move on. But for some reason, it just made sense on this particular piece to get all the black in first. So once I got all the black in, I went in and we did more texture. So bringing the voltage down to a good stipple voltage, I can take my free liner and start to stipple all over the nose, which gives that illusion of short fur. Once I stippled in all the areas I needed, this is when I went in with my nine round shader going in between that stipple and the black to create the tone I see. Now, depending on the texture will depend on my approach. But now finally, I bring the mag back out and work over the texture, creating the depth in the piece. Once I created the nose area, then I begin constructing the rest of the fur. Again, it is mag on the side, creating direction using the tone required for the image that I'm tattooing. Now, like I said, this is all manipulation of my 13 curved mag. I will use the corner if I want it soft. I will work at a straight 90 degrees angle if I want it nice and sharp, for example. But at the moment, I'm focused on direction and the value and just taking my time. And 
once all that's done, it is time for white. When I'm adding white to this piece, I am literally just adding it to those light areas of that fur going in the same direction, doing nothing different than I have done through the entire process. Now, as you can see, the client wanted some blue in the eyes, but once that is all done, you end up with something like this. But guys, that is all for today. I hope you have learned something. That was just a quick and easy way to achieve the texture and look that you need for your tigers. But also, if you are doing any other animals, you can take what you've learned from this and apply it to that also. If you have any questions, please bang it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you wanna join my Patreon, there's a link in the description. Also, I do one-on-one -on -one seminars. If you are wanting that, drop me an email. But guys, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Watch us love.